for the image similarity search. So I'm going to use the MUVAS vector database. And what is the MUVAS database? How to install? How to install the Docker? Then what is the word embedding? Everything I have explained in the previous video. So I would recommend please visit this video for better understanding about the vector database. This video is completely uh, hands-on. So I will take few image. So in this diagram, if you see, I will take the few image and I will use uh, the one of the model for the generate the embedding. So I will use the ResNet 50 to generate the embedding. Those embedding I will put into the MUVAS and then I will do the sum operation to find out the similar search. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, these are the my image. So all the image I kept on the image folder. So these are the my image uh, I have kept in this folder. Few my photo, few my friends photo and dog cats are there. Okay, and uh, I will use the Jupyter notebook. So and I will do the code here. But before that, you have to uh, you know to install the MILVAS and the R2 for the UI management system. So everything I have explained here. So I'm directly uh, jumping into the uh, start the my uh, MILVAS database vector. So what you have to do, you have to write the command Docker compose up. So when you do the Docker Compose app, it is created, you can see now, and it is started. If you go here, it is uh, almost started everything, it is running. So now, um, come back here, it is running here, and uh, you can also start the R2. How we can start everything I have explained in the previous video. So you can see uh, uh, nothing is there, database is empty. Okay, so let me start my code. First and foremost, we will uh, import some uh, required libraries. So I took the torch uh, and the torch vision for the transformation and I, I, and I take the image one that is going to use that. And then what I will do, I will use the predefined model for the embedding purpose, right? So if you see this diagram, so I need one model who can uh, who can convert. I need this model who can convert image into the embedding, right? So for that, I'm going to use the ResNet 18. Okay, it is uh, done there. Now what I will do, I will write some code who will generate the embedding. So let me explain my code here. So if you see, I uh, write one code for the processing image. So what if you do, it will uh, take the data image and they will convert into the predefined size. So they will do the resize, right? So as you know that you have to define the data type as a, uh, as a uh, constant dimension, the fixed dimension for the each image. So that, we, that it will do and do all the normalize everything for the image. And then I have another method who will create the embedding. So nothing, you have to just pass the image path and it will uh, do the embedding, right? So yeah, print it. Okay, so once it is done, then from here, what you will do, you can start our embedding. So let me do, I will uh, take one cat image and see how the embedding is creating. So what I will do, I have given the path, right? In the cat one. So I told you, I have the one cat one here. This is inside the image, right? So I take the path. So in the vector database, uh, we are only storing the embedding. Your original data will be stored on your storage system, right? So I gave the path and uh, so it generates the uh, embedding for the cat and you can see the cat shape is the 512. This is a dimension for the embedding and uh, they also uh, show the embeddings, right? So this is the embeddings for the cat one. Okay, the similar to what I will do, I will do the uh, cat two also. Uh, because we have all the image, right? I will fit all the image into the vector database. So similarly, I can, uh, I done the CAD2 also, right? So similarly, what I will do, I will uh, insert some uh, dog, uh, cat, person one, person two. So if you see, uh, these are the, uh, so it will put all the uh, 
all the others uh, image uh, in one shot so so these are the images out there okay so let me put this much image uh, then we will do the similarity search oh, i have some more image so i will say that okay that uh, put some more image so this much image i took okay and they create the embeddings on that right and now the job is that we have to push this data into the other database right so for that you need uh, to connection uh, from your Muverse database to the Jupyter notebook so for that making the connection you need uh, some python library that i have already explained in the detail in my previous video once it is required we done it now let me do the connection so our, uh, if you see this our uh, Miiverse is uh, running here uh, on the port number uh, 19530 so it is connected now for that you have to need uh, some correction some tables right so what i did i create one primary key field on a, another is a word word whether you have given or the name for the image and then respective uh, uh, embeddings and i will give the correction name is the image so if you see right now we don't have any um, we don't have any corrections here right we don't have any corrections here right now once you create the correction now you can go and see you will have the one correction here right with the name of the image right and if you go the image it have all this uh, the field right attributes and uh, we don't have any index right now so we need one index so i'm going to add one index here so this is the in so it is created now if you go here if you you can see that uh, that has been created the index right so now we put the data one by one so let me insert all the data or uh, let me first insert only the uh, few data means cat1 cat2 cat3 cat4 persons here let me see only this much data and see what is happening there data has been went there but you know for the data should to uh, actual insert you need to insert first and load so then you can see the data in the uh, ui here so it will be the complete yes now complete now if you go and see the data you can see the data right if you see here data preview you can see all the data here right you can see the embedding city showing here so you can see the embedding for the uh, respective words right and you have the here so you can see the word too also okay so now uh, once you've done that let me create one uh, about the search criteria what should be the search criteria so you have to pass what is the metric type so if you see here metric type for the indexing i have given the l2 uh, there are the many uh, different kind of the similarity we have used the uh, this one the l2 okay and now i will use this catag this search param in the other the uh, actual uh, searching things are passing that right we will do image is a collection dot search i am passing and i am uh, passing the dog one so i want to see that whether i am able to fetch the dog or not and this dog one is here right so if you hear and if you see this dog one image we have created here right so we have the embeddings and now i'm giving only four so if you see we have only the dog one and two right so let me see what four he is getting we have only three dogs so it we give the three the correct matching but fourth you can give the something different right and i need the output as a word so if you see here and then uh, if you see what are the um, ids he fits for the searching right the it is saying the three four five six let me go and see what is the three four five six so three is the exact dog four is the exact dog five and see as a person also because we need uh, we have given the four right so if you have only three data i will say put only three and if you see here it will show the three four five right and if you want to know how much distance is there right from the each uh, search means how much image are matching so you can see the this because first one is perfectly they find out and second one is this much difference is there okay i think uh, if you want to see the image actually which image is matching right so for that we will use this library and 
what the result we got right this is the result right so i will take the range and i will see what are the things are matching so i gave the dog one right in my searching criteria i gave the dog one so of course you find out first the dog one and second also they have found to dog two and the dog three right so this means it is working fine right so the same way if you want to do the cat let me see whether cat is working or not so i give the cat one uh, put the only the three or four okay i am given the cat one and let me see it is working or not so the same you have to put the code here what the code you have written so it will show the image also right so you can see of course cat one was the of course and the cat one uh, cat two cat cat three that shows right because you have given the four so that four is randomly they pick up anything right now um, let me put some more data so we have generated uh, the vnode one vnode two right so um, let me put those data also and uh, some more data i have given that okay let me uh, search vnode or push some more data on that so whatever data we have generated let me just uh, okay so it will one by one insert this data and after that insert this data right so now if you see we have almost 14 uh, records here so if you go here so we have seven here so this much data we have already right so now we are going to perform the search so in the search what i will do uh, let me search on my name i am given the binode 2 let me check means how many binode 2 are there uh, similar to the binode 4 too. so let me copy this to show the result right first run this result came here and search so of course we have given the binode 2 so binode 2 is perfectly coming right now if you see the second one this mine photo is coming but by mistake this photo is coming it should not come so depend upon the embedding right these are the coming the same way if i am searching my uh, friend's photo her sheet so let me see whether his photo is coming correctly or not so i am passing the searching parameter is hers too and let me see whether this data is coming properly or not so let me if you see hers too is coming perfectly uh, but my photo is coming instead of this so you have to take one good uh, uh, the embedding things right this was the complete demo but uh, please subscribe and like this video share among your friend and uh, if you want to know end to end for the vector database so this these videos are the recommended videos thank you very much